Back with Grant and Billy. Here we go. Semifinal number two. Bruins and Bulldogs. Bruins five wins to get to this floor tonight. Bulldogs with four wins by 15 points or more in every case. Groover along with Anderson and Breeding. Let's get it started. Find out Baylor's opponent come Monday night, and the Bruins will have the first trip down the floor. Bill Raftery. Shit, man, it's Grant Hill right now. The Zags go a little, wait a minute. Right now for UCLA, it's all about ball security and being patient with their offense. They got to get a good shot every possession. Here's the jump shot. That's a good shot. He Not knows how to do it. Not a bad one. Juzang right off the top. He uses those bumps beautifully, knows how to fade or curl. That is a freewheeling, great cutting offensive team that can shoot oh, the deep oh, one, too. My goodness. All five guys. That's, everybody can step out and drill. A Yayi hits the three, and uh, the Bulldogs, when they gave up that opening bucket, it's the first time they have trailed in a game since the first half of Oklahoma in round two. And it didn't last for long, as here's the steal. Sucks, looks back, gives it up. A Yayi. Rattles at home on the short shot. And Rav, so good in transition. You saw the U USC game, Elite Eight game. So many turnovers early, leading to easy fast break buckets for the Zags. Absolutely. That was a big concern for Coach Cronin. Don't want to give up layups. Bernard can make the three, but a good driver as well. Bernard, nice shot. Well, a he, two. He has thinned out and polished up his game. Kisper driving, fighting for the shot. It's not there, so he comes back out. A terrific defensive team. That's how they control pace, too. UCLA, he's got range and depth. Bernard there for the Bruins. Never in a hurry unless it's absolutely open. Back to Campbell, who told us, I try to be a coach on the court. Savvy point guard, look at baseline on Suggs. It's not there, goes outside, Riley open. All zags underneath. They like Riley around the hoop, but he can't make that nice look here. Pittsburgh trying to go to the opposite side. Right now, UCLA slowing it down like we talked about. Mick Cronin wants to execute and get the ball in his finisher's hands. Of course, Juzay capable of taking over at the end of the shot clock. And big thing is keeping Tiger out of the lane, too, because he finds people or does this little floater. Campbell, too strong with it. Got a good look. Ayayi, active early. They just push it relentlessly every possession, the Zags. Makes or misses. Little Drives wow. in, knocks down Campbell, and gets the hoop. Tried to dupe the officials into it. He's got all seven of Gonzaga's points. Oh, 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 the dunk denied as he was fouled by Ayayi. And that's your power forward right there. <laughs> and down here, a little flapperoo. The tiger trying to sell a little Hollywood in it. Yeah, uh, Westwood, down imagine, the street. How about this kid? I just love his aggressiveness. Non-stop energy. Never gets tired. And plays with a chip on his shoulder when you talk to his teammates. The aggression, the all-out play, every game, every practice. His teammates admire him. Early in the year, he played 55 minutes against Pepperdine. Speaking of minutes, these starters for UCLA have played a lot of minutes, the most no. minutes of any team here in this tournament. But you could play at this pace. That's true Think about it. That's true. You're not expending that kind of energy every trip. And Bart, really a great addition to this team, whether he runs the point, Ball on the floor, and it's kicked by Gonzaga. It goes to the Bruins. Over 50 million fans agree Queen Latifah never disappoints, and tomorrow she returns for a new high-octane episode. Watch The Equalizer tomorrow at 8, 7 central, or stream anytime on CBS. So the Bruins make the first sub. They bring in Singleton. A little instant offense. Got to play him on the catch, a little three-quarter court, try and speed him up a little bit. Singleton brings about five points on average a game off the bench. Here he is, back out to Campbell for the reset. 
Tiger has the pulse, doesn't he? He knows exactly. He doesn't want to get hollered at to begin with. <laughs> Loves this right shoulder here. Two to shoot. How about that? And what a shot it is. It post. Knockdown. Riley. Watch the footwork. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, Beautiful. Jimmy. Oh, my. Where's Kevin McHale when you need him? <laughs> He's been doing that all tournament long. Looks like he's been doing it all lifelong, hasn't he? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's the big difference, I think. They can go through the center, sets up their cutting game. UCLA wants to get Timmy in screen and roll, but oh, again, he's able to drive in. Numbers here. Finish. Yep. UCLA drops back to three. Oh, what a oh, setup. Oh, Splits oh, and comes up short. Wow, is that pretty? Akez broke early, but it's not there. He'll be careful with it. Give it back to Campbell. There's a little series. Keep the forwards active. Haquez. That's a three. And we knew going in, Haquez and Juzang have to have big nights being aggressive to have a chance against this ball club. But the patience of UCLA, they just take their time, not afraid to get late in the shot clock. Trying to post up, Suggs. Back it in, back it in. Doubled up on them hard. Another Love pass. Very lucky. Last touch by Campbell. Okay. Akez hits the shot from the corner to give the Bruins the lead at the first break. Uh, tough to shoot with a chip on your shoulder, but he's able to do it. <laughs> a great reaction. Those forwards did knock him down for the Bruins. Thanks to Pizza Hut for reimagining the student section this year. Since students couldn't be here in person, they were able to submit a photo and have their faces on cutouts in the stands. The student section is delivered by Pizza Hut, official pizza of March Madness. And listen, the last undefeated team to get to a championship game was Larry Bird's Indiana State team in 79 out in Salt Lake City. Now the last two to make it to the Final Four, both lost in the semifinal round, UNLV to Duke and Kentucky to Wisconsin, and both of those losses happened here in Indianapolis. Ah, here's Timmy! So crafty down low, great awareness, the most versatile big man in all of college basketball. Did you see Grant's chest pump up when you were reading that graphic? Yeah, about, about, <laughs> and rightfully so. About Duke beating UNLV. Yeah. Yeah. You're right about Timmy, though, Grant. This kid can make that shot. Campbell, long with it, but Riley is there. Put back, no. Got another chance. <laughs> Gotta make one of those. Love the has on the floor. It's at the Campbell and the Bruins, scrappy and keeping possession. Hakez has some motor. Nice ball movement. Campbell puts it up. Again, he's fouled. Timmy, I think. Let's go over to Trace. Jim, we saw Jules Bernard go to the bench three minutes into the game. He remains there. He missed shoot around today with an upset stomach. I watched him in pregame taking in fluids. He averages over 29 minutes a game. They may just be cautious with him, but something to watch. You see him, he looks like though he's going to be coming in on the next dead ball. Campbell hits the first free throw. That means all five starters for the Bruins have already scored. That yeah, was a short stint on the bench as Singleton comes out. Bernard back. Campbell got them both. Good start on the offensive glass. Good activity by UCLA. Ooh. Oh, that one thrown away. A little miscommunication. Ayayi and Nimhart as Timmy takes a little break. You don't see that kind of pass with this club. UCLA aggressive on the perimeter defensively. Fuey not really happy with that one. He has Watson on the floor for Timmy. A local kid. Not a bad Austin. defensive player as well, Watson. Bernard. Oh, that was right there. This is where they're tough. Great balance defensively. Look at this kid go to the Wow, he cradles it. Gets the 
That's about four times, Grant. Yep. They've gotten to the rim and not converted. Yeah, Suggs a few times in transition, able to get there, just not able to finish. But that burst right there in transition, his ability to just get by the defender. Look at that cup, too. <laughs> Got some upper body strength. Go back out high to it. To the Florida transfer. Nemhard. Suggs unable to hit the three. And it can't go through. Timmy, we obviously not the same kind of an offensive philosophy when he's out of the game. Go side to side. Use your bumps. Campbell's jumper. Love this kid. I'll tell you what, Mick Cronin, he said it best. This team believes that they belong, and they have shown that here early on. Nice pass. dive. Watson oh, turned his head, and Campbell was there to take it. And did you see him pull the plug? Mm. Mick was up. Hold that ball. Double up. Haquez has it stripped. Kispert on the floor. Needs some help. Great swipe. Rolls oh. and tries to. It ends up in the hands, fortunately, for the Bad Bulldogs. Ayayi has it. Foul is called on UCLA. Haquez so important right there. Can't pick up a ticky-tack foul there in the backcourt. But on that previous play, Suggs getting to the rim. and Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Boy, he took a hit, didn't he, Bernard? Right on that ankle. I had a game early this year. He got hurt. We thought he was out for the season. And toughness personified. Football helps, I'm sure. Singleton again shuttling in and out. This time for Campbell. Marquez on Kispert. He has really not had an opportunity to get free. And hard with the body. Able to get the angle. Well, what's great about that, they can let Suggs play off the ball. Lubar really has a great feel to run on offense. They don't mind playing late in the shot clock, Grant. No question. Very patient. Of course, when you have Johnny Buckets here, he can make something happen late. Bruins with Clark on the floor, and here goes the outside uh, shot again for Juzang. Woo, from Lexington to Rodeo Ooh. Drive. <laughs> Wasn't there long. <laughs> Grew up in Tarzana and went out and gave up his senior year of high school. He thought he was ready, went to Kentucky, transferred back home. Hey, Gonzaga moves that ball. They do. Look at Kisper. Beautiful move. I just keep moving, open that middle. The blow by. Uh, Timmy gets a blow. Save some foul problems. Gonzaga going to have to figure out how to defend here. UCLA very efficient here offensively, slowing things down and picking apart this defense. Oh, my kid? goodness. He's been able to drive a couple of times. Haquez with the basket. He's got, he's got some strength. Then he put it on the deck and finishing. No question. Back with the Bruins leading early. We've seen Haquez driving the paint a number of times. This bench cam powered by AT&T 5G. Marquez with a chance to complete three-point play. Could have lost him to baseball, right, at an early age. Mm -hmm. But basketball, well, it ran in the family. Both his mom and dad played basketball at Concordia University in Irvine. Mom is in the School Hall of Fame. Cook on the floor now, can shoot it. Southern Illinois kid. Word points there. What a move. There wow. He goes. He's tough. Whew. Cook, senior from St. Louis. They got some backups, too. Yep, transfer from Southern Illinois. That's uh, eight field goals for Gonzaga, seven of them in the paint. Well, they're going to have to be patient defensively. He's got what he wants here. Oop. Right off his foot into the arms of Nemhart. Look at them. Turn the corner on the break after a turnover. Oh, Cook with the assist to Ayayi. 
I mean, they fly up and down the court. And as you said, Jim, what a beautiful pass. You turn the ball over, they make you pay. Four guys running, unselfish play, great concentration. Yayi with the finish and the three-point play opportunity. Boy, that was high octane. That was a oh. impressive stretch there, running down the floor, giving it up at the end, and the foul on Bernard of UCLA. And what was great about the play, Newbar pushed the ball. He felt the traffic around him. And just an extraordinary look. They all get up and down. And Ayayi has 10 points in the game's first 10 minutes. Good wingspan at the top here makes it a tough look. They love Hawkers at that elbow too when they can get an opportunity for him. Five unanswered points out of the break for the Bulldogs. Tough shot. Campbell wow. somehow was able to get it. Ooh, ooh, good. That kid. <laughs> Got it. Now Timmy, who's returned, is looking for it back. Ayayi. Now with 13. And Raph, the ball just does not stick, does it? They move it, make quick decisions. And Ayayi locked in right now for the kid for the Zags. That kid does so much, Jim, for this team. He's five for five from the field, including a pair of threes. Uh, just marvelous basketball player. And I love the sound of his hometown. Yeah, or no. <laughs> whistle and the basket they're gonna count it Woo, little continuation well, you mentioned not sticking but the little ball screen replace and why not number 11 drilling it big time and this kid just love his game always under control great field turned out a few schools early on was the Paul I think right Grant yes and opted out Well, he committed to DePaul, then opened it back up, took a visit, saw the campus, which is pretty stunning, and he said, I'm in UCLA. Great vision. <laughs> Great awareness. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, court <That> too. <laughs> Has a little bit on the court, too. He was the last starter to score in this game, and he's now run it to nine points. Good nice pass. pass. Timmy. And that was Campbell reaching in for his first. Scan this code now and watch the Final Four on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. Drew Timmy out of the Dallas area. Second team, All-America, who has really risen his game to new heights during this NCAA tournament. It's averaged 21 points a game in, in the tournament. In Raph, the Zags a great shooting team, but really an inside-out team. They love to establish Timmy inside, and with the shooters they have, you have to make a decision whether to double-team and let the shooters open or let him go to work. A little pressure now, three-quarter court by the Zags. And Grant, they can do that because they got Timmy. I mean, he's like a Don Nelson point forward, isn't he? He really is. Great passer. Juzang, you can't, can't leave, leave him. him. Can't leave him open. A little bit of a scramble and bad recovery. Oh, another one of those errant tosses. Pass break opportunity. Aquez had it defended. What a way to get back from transition defense. And the Bulldogs the other way. Foul call on the Bruins. And the best player on the team, the hottest player in the tournament, wide open. Great awareness to find Jazang. He is staying hot from the perimeter. But right now, the balance of UCLA, one of their strengths, five guys averaging over 9.8 .9 points per game. Everybody's producing and giving in in this effort for the Bruins. By the way, they had a similar situation the first game. They called a foul earlier on Cook, and it's been switched to Ayayi. So he's got two, unless he's out. They are really getting deflections. Watson. Want to dump it down low. Now we'll drive it. They get a foul. 
Great action here early, fellas. Sure is, goes around the rim. Who can finish with the bigs? Some talented guys performing. Important night in their lives. Well, Baylor advances to Monday night to 23 assists on 26 field goals. It's the most in a Final Four game in 31 years. We've got a one now in the championship game. Will it be another one or will it be an 11 facing the Bears? And you see they barely trailed in this tournament, Mark Few's team. I mentioned that coming into this game, they had not trailed for the last 111 minutes of the tournament since trailing in the first half of the second round game against Oklahoma. But the Bruins, they're up to the occasion here at the start. Playing well. By the way, I have a question for you. Okay. James, Anton Watson, local kid there from Spokane. Guess who his fifth grade coach was? <laughs> Is a basketball legend of some sort, like a John Stockton? <laughs> I think you covered his games in your infancy. Uh, I did. It's all like with the Jazz. It was a great honor. Hot Rod Hundley, right? Yeah, with Hot yeah. Rod. God bless him. Oh, he was a, a great one. West Virginia legend. And, of course, John Stockton. As great a human being as you meet. Let's see if Hawkins tries to take Timmy here. He's the point guy now, or Bernard. With Tiger getting the blow. Akez on the way up. Second, I think, if they give it to Timmy. Wasn't it was much on Watson. There. Yeah, it's on Watson instead. Timmy will seem to be standing and holding his ground. They take advantage of those mismatches. They find the isolation they want, and Akez just takes his time, and Watson reaches in. I thought Timmy actually played good defense. He did. Had his hands up, contested, but reaching in there by Watson. Unbelievably delicious Coca-Cola flavors. Taste just as good courtside as it does couchside. So, Akez has been driving the paint, and he came in. It was face-to-face -face with Timmy before Watson reached in. Of course, Akez and Timmy were roommates a few years back at an AAU event in Long Beach, and they've remained very close. And then they were chatting with one another, uh, wolfing a little bit the uh, hotel, they told us. Yep. They're, and they're both wearing headbands, I see. Nice cut. Oh, wow. Timmy, that's what he does. His ability to stretch the D. You sneak a peek, he makes you pay mightily. He loves to pass. Good Set up baskets, does. he said. Set it up for Suggs. Same mismatch. This kid loves to get a piece of lane. Hot catch right here. Great pivot, pivot foot. Bernard around the pick. Gets the look he wants. That's a three. It was close. Well, this kid has worked on his game. So many younger raids with a lot of driving, occasionally charging. So much for the upset stomach. <laughs> Timmy short with it. Chu Zhang jumps to the spot. And a great defense interior-wise by Riley there. Not fouling, forcing him into a tough shot down low. Dribble away from a double team. And now we'll oh, take the shot. Feel it. That's a tough shot. Contested. Riley almost got to that. Suggs looks back toward Timmy. We'll keep it in the paint, fighting for it. Fortunate to come out. Uh, boy, they are playing Cincinnati defense right now for Mick. Them hard. Watson taps it, taps it over to a Bruin. Over. To Ju Zhang. Hey, you what? think they're tough? <laughs> they're tough. Feisty. Just like Mick. NCAA, what, 10 years in a row? Yeah, he's had been there. Very few people on that list been in the tournament at least 10 consecutive years. There's, that, pivot, there's that pivot foot. Good defense there by Watson. A lot of ISO here. Nice help by what a nice read. Oh, and Suggs able to take it away. Steals it from Juzang. Takes off, bumps bodies with Bernard, and it'll be on the Bruin. How smart is he? He initiated that contact. That could have been an offensive foul, uh, but uh, so smart and aggressive. Uh, but just anytime you spin dribble, as you well know, Grant, now you're blind and looking. Suggs anticipation, great upper body strength, and then the run out. And I love it right here on the run out. He seeks the contact. You know, he's not avoiding contact. He's trying to get contact while he's driving to the rim there, Suggs. Ayayi back out with two fouls. And Juzang's first turnover in his last 138 minutes of playing time, going back to the first round game after the first four game, the first round game against BYU. Well, UCLA's really played great defense. No back cuts, which they run so 
efficiently, the Zags. Emhard. Well, they held him down there. Timmy, he'll get them. I think Bernard, the way he reacted. I'll give the Bruins credit also fronting inside on Timmy, making it difficult for him to get any good looks there. But a beautiful drive. Timmy able to screen the defense. Nimbard right there at the rim, just couldn't convert. Definitely Timmy was held down there on that offensive rebound attempt. I could have given it to Singleton too as well. But you're right about the fronting. Really a terrific job preventing the entry. And then they're harassing the pass on the outside as well. So Timmy at the line. Missing the front end. UCLA just has a way of taking you out of your rhythm. Oh, we saw that with Michigan, Alabama, high-scoring offenses. Just kind of lull you to sleep. You saying yes. See, they wanted that all the way down the floor. They're gonna wave. It. Are they gonna wave the basket off? Are you say the foul was before? I think you got to score the goal. Oh, this is tough. Had to get beat you outside. Juzang taking him down low. And then off the ball is where the foul was called, too. And going the other way. That's just a beautiful move right there. I like what Nick Cronin said. He showed up as a shooter, and he's become a player. Isn't that, isn't that oh. interesting? I think the expectations probably at Kentucky was he was a pure shooter, and he gets an opportunity as he comes back home. And Mick feels a lot of West Coast guys like coming back home. They like that weather. <laughs> the basket counted. Kispert's at the line for a one and one. Now they're trying to switch the shooter. Yeah, yeah. Kispert's going to step aside, put Suggs at the stripe. From 88 to 76. How about the job he's done, Mark Few? Amazing. Great humility. Well, you mentioned Cronin had been in 10 straight turnovers. Here's what happened after the basket counted. There was the push. Uh, just a little Tavern League discard. Yeah, but it's a second foul. No, actually, that last foul. Second, you're right, I think. Uh, Hakez. Well, second one, Hakez. Yeah. Yep. Second. Clark on the floor now. He's getting a lot more minutes. Boy, he is really taking people to town. Wow. Ooh, elevating. And making just tough shots. These aren't easy shots right here. Uh -oh. He thinks Not it's a all. Michigan game all over again when he scored 28 <laughs> of their 51. He's creating post up. Hyman on the floor for the Bruins, too, number 13. Number 13, who gives them a good boost off the bench a number of times. Outside they go. Kispert left open. Nice hustle. Timmy. Timmy. Nice pass. He's so good that way. Oh, yeah. Hangs on the rim forever. Another assist for Timmy, too. Uh, you got to go through him. Give him touches. He can provide a big time lift. And when, he, when you have a guy who passes like that, you have willing cutters. You know he's going to deliver. And they say they drill now. And look at this the nice deflection and Timmy in the open floor. Yep. Ooh. Turnovers to goals. Live ball turnovers. And timeout Ooh. called by Cronin. Uh, they hasten your demise. Timmy slams it down. Zags, two down. Jim, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I mean, who, who's who, going to win who, this You week? know, I never. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to go right here with Jordan Spieth. Oh, okay. He's playing just some super golf. He's tied for the lead this week, and be a wonderful thing to see. He is back. Raft and I are still waiting on our uh, invites. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, we're going to wait another couple of years. I think. Yeah, nice little out of the timeout trap here. They don't want to go or went to slow, and they went that time. Wow, did they break that, and Riley was waiting for it at the opposite end. Guzang doing so many nice things. He draws so much attention. Yeah.
what a great game plan they've had thus far. Timmy. Watch the footwork now. Backing on Riley and unable to hit the short shot. Bruins fight for it off the floor. With give, Riley. Riley, give Riley credit right there. Great defense. Use his strength. Able to slide his feet. Diamond came over to help out, make it that much more difficult. Now, Jusang, who's been setting up shots like this and hitting, not this time. Look at Clark. Love that kid's activities. Three on two for the Zags. And a reach in is going to be called. Now they like that kid because he plays and guards so many positions. And another break in the action. UCLA continues to lead it in a good one here in Indianapolis. Johnny Juzang has 12 for the Bruins. Gonzaga, most of its work in the paint. Four-point Bruin lead with 2.46 to go in the first half. His brother surprised him last night. There he is in the middle. It's his brother Christian. He came in from Vietnam. Wow. And they weren't able to see each other. He came to the hotel and looked through the window in the lobby. Mm. And there were cameras rolling and just shocked. And it was a beautiful moment for the family and Johnny to see his brother Christian, who played at Harvard for Tommy Amaker. A great, brilliant mind out of Duke, I might add. <laughs> a great mind indeed. And one of the great people. What a beautiful story. We've seen that during the course of the last two days. People waving to their folks that yep. they haven't seen. I mean, it's really not emotional. allowed to hug. Not allowed to break the bubble. Mm -hmm. I tried to give Grant a hug. He <laughs> 10 feet away from me. Can't blame him. Stick to the protocols, Bill. Exactly. <laughs> Another late ball screen. Riley does some job. Oh, foul lead. Oh. There's his father as Juzang will go to the line. A lot to root for. That foul, the first on Suggs. A lot of pride right there. Well, that background picture was Joe Boylan, a former assistant at Rutgers, an old friend of mine who mm. passed away. Too many of those stories lately. In the just, last year. Yeah, just a great human being, too. Well, this kid knows his offense, Grant Dundee. Looks like you in your senior year. You were <laughs> understated your first three. Not my junior. <laughs> well, it was the haircut your junior year, was it? Sophomore year, but I'll tell you, he is so good at getting to his spots and knocking down shots. And speaking of other legends, and there you see Billy Tubbs. Lost him recently to Coach John Thompson. And there's Lute Olson who won a championship here in, in Arizona back in 1997, and uh, as you said, Bill, just too many of like well, John Chaney. Terrible year in that respect. And they are really guarding. Open up the lane, though. Again. Oh, what a touch. This kid knows how to play, though. Great pace, great understanding when to explode. Great mentality for a point guard. Oh, double up. Trap. And they really suffocate. Go foot to foot, too. Inside two minutes, and that's Kispert getting a piece. And Clark not afraid to play. This kid is going to be a performer, and right here, the ability to turn the corner, uh, resist that temptation to touch the ball on the rim. First foul. On Kispert. Clark hits the first coming up AT&T at the half. First half analysis and latest college basketball news coming up on AT&T at the half. You were talking, Bill, about 10 straight years that Mick Cronin's taken a team to the NCAA tournament. Same thing could be said, well, Mark Pugh. At the, look at the list of at least 10. He's got 10, Cronin with his Cincinnati teams, 10 straight tournaments. Pugh, 22 straight NCAA tournaments, but that list Mm, it's a distinguished one. Absolutely. All Hall of Famers. You know, I had them early in the year against Ohio State, and they didn't play tough. Well, they have gotten tough. Tough-minded, always in the right spot. An extension of Mick. Here's Kispert hitting the three. Can't relax. He's got range. He's got confidence. 
And a beautiful looking stroke. But it wasn't a great possession there for Gonzaga. I mean, great defense there by UCLA. Kispert just showing off his range, bailing him out on that play. Not the same team with Tiger on the floor as they use Juzang. Tiger still out. And they do. With the 2,000, Juzang drives in and scores. He, he just knows how to yeah. score. Play without a rudder, though. This sucks. <laughs> Ties the game at 43. Well, they all have an air of confidence, don't they? They do. Wow. Not afraid of the moment. What a pace this game has. Final 40 seconds of the first half. Well, look at Suggs move those legs up. Nice entry. Into Riley. Tapped around, and Clark able to get it for UCLA. This kid is tough. You don't see him much during the course of the year, but he is not afraid to play. Hey, hey guys, Tribute. I just, just want to finish that thought. The last, uh, the coaches have been in the last 10 NCAA tournaments. We mentioned Few and Cronin, Izzo, Self, and Roy Williams. Uh -huh. and Roy, as we see this last foul, man, thank you for what you meant to college basketball. Absolutely. True icon and a gentleman. Unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. It, coming from a Duke guy. Now. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> that is. Tell, tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is everything and more. A great respect amongst the coaching fraternity. He's handled success beautifully. And just a momentary lapse last year, you might say, as gracefully. Announced his retirement on Thursday. We're going to miss him. And we applaud you and your great career, Coach. Time out on the floor. Well, there you go. Just look at all the accomplishments. These are things that just show up. It doesn't speak to the personal relationships with his players. Can't put that in a graphic or a stat because it's immense well, the, the players' lives. The biggest name of all, Jim, excuse me, uh, Michael Jordan. That was his friend. Of course, helped recruit him. Yeah, it was the assistant coach, coach there. Assistant, it. yeah. I'll tell you, one of the great joys when they had their runs there a few years ago was spending time with his team, but oh, most yeah. importantly, with Coach Williams. A lot of fun to be around. National champions, you're talking about the last time we saw it, like that in 2017 when they beat Gonzaga in the championship out in Arizona. Bulldogs trying to find a way to get back to that championship game. Uh, trying to get a piece of the lane, and you got to stay at home on the perimeter shooters, and they got four on the floor. Six seconds. There's Kisper. Guns it down. Uh, nice pin down. They know how to use screens and terrific pass. Look at this. Singleton. Woo. But the Kispert, Kispert jumper gives Gonzaga the lead in a wild first half. Uh, just a nice play. Look at him curl. You trail. You're tardy. You pay mightily. Kispert, senior leader. And then the Hamperson style. That gives us our 10th lead change of the game. Plus five ties. Largest lead was the Bruins by six. Gonzaga, largest lead was three. But a 15 to eight close by the Bulldogs to have the slight edge at halftime. Tracy, over to you. Well, thanks a lot. And coach, first time all tournament long that you guys have faced a challenge like this. What have they been doing to disrupt things? Oh, they've been doing a great job. They've made a bunch of big shots like they've made or done all tournament, very timely ones. And, and uh, you know, we lost Juzang a couple times, which obviously wasn't the plan. But, uh, you know, they beat us to a lot of balls, too. There's been some 50-50 balls, and they've just been beating us to it. And we've made some really kind of uncharacteristic uh, mental errors on the defensive end and uh, so we just got to get that cleaned up calm down a little bit appreciate the time thanks a lot you bet that's the end of the first half with the score gonzaga 45 ucla 44. we'll send you to at&t at the half after these messages you're watching the ncaa men's basketball championship okay well, they put the pressure on him so far throughout, and yeah, now Gonzaga opens up the second half on the offensive end. Uh, look for Timmy to get more touches, get himself available. Look at him seal off. He end up empty again at the rim, though. Not able to convert, but just love Timmy. Well, Bernard in foul trouble. 
right just what 11 seconds into the second half he picks up another one and great awareness by Nimbar understanding the situation there Nip Bernard with three fouls he attacked him right away and now getting to the free throw line and this is not a dip team, a deep team either and that's a, a major issue a second look comes on the floor yep really a terrific deep shooter to the bench with four and that's tough Bernard is so important to this team so capable Pace. The engineer's in. Let's see if Gonzaga can figure out defensively. Few said they made a few mistakes. Uh, I, I just think they can't keep switching. That's the key part. And don't leave that guy alone. Hawkes well, <laughs> got the look from three. Doesn't fall. And now Suggs feeds Timmy over Riley. Nice box out to get the rebound by Singleton. A big thing with Bernard not being there. They can run him at the point. He can make a three. He can dribble drive. He's an aggressive, strong kid. It's a different look. Campbell, who had to sit a lot with the two fouls in that first half. That's a kick ball to be inbounded. And a little bit, I'm sure, frustration. One mystery foul in the first half, I think, he got, uh, which would hurt him. Campbell looking for help. Goes with it to Riley. He'll look get at, back to his point. Look He'll take the shot. Well, Timmy had him, and they're really doing a great job forcing mismatches. This come up empty. Ayayi thought about it. Gives it to Suggs. And this is where they're vulnerable. Cuts, finds. Look at this wide open look. Kispert unable to knock it down. Getting good at looks. Just can't convert. Yeah. Great good pass play. there by Timmy inside. You told me he's a little bit like Christian Leitner, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> very versatile, very talented. This kid's so good. Wow. Locking that pivot foot. Adjusting to the softball delivery. Yes. Akez. Suggs, though. How fast is that? And they come right back at you. Suggs in transition, not wasting any moment right there. Attacking off the bounce. And Mick Cronin was furious. You want to control pace, dictate, tempo. Exactly what Tracy reported at halftime. He wanted to see his Bruins not give up at any more layups like that. Now Riley over Timmy. I a shot. Hit a shot like that in the first half. I could live with that, though. Can't you? Give me the Zags. He's not the guy that's going to beat you consistently, but you're right. Seventh tie of the game. Suggs again. Quick work shot Ooh. there. And Riley out there challenging. Mark Few, 21 years, 629 wins. If he wins this game, that would give him precisely on the number an average of 30 wins a year in his 21 years. Oh, man. Incredible. He never puffs a nice jump into the pass lane. Suggs does that beautifully. He never gets puffed up about his success either. No. Very humble, understated guy. A little slow with a buck, but that happens a lot. <laughs> He is as understated and humble as they come. He really is. A preacher's son. Get it in to Juzak. And this is tough now. He can back him down. I guess. This is the ISOs they look for. Going to take the three. Riley fighting for it. Tapped it out. Bruins able to keep it. The activity of Riley on display. Beautiful give him. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he bounced past it to Hakez. Great cut, great pass. And and some, some of their own medicine in a way. <laughs> First time Gonzaga's trailed in the second half in this tournament. But not for long. What poise. Ayayi is. Uh, Clark Kellogg always says he fills that stat sheet, that kid. He does. Oh, my goodness. Triple-double this season. Not a good split there. Tie up will go to the Bruins. Uh, just good, solid basketball. Uh, not afraid of the moment. Make sure you get yourself in position. Turn, face. Terrific delivery with the pass. Smooch at the end. <laughs> Timmy now with 10. Ayayi Fedham has 16. Tops for Gonzaga. Back tops in the game. 
Suggs is holding his hand like. Maybe when he jumped that pass lane, hit the floor. I thought when he hit the floor early on the break there, he's grabbing his hand as well in the first half. Look at how deep that is. Juzang back of the rim. Long rebound, though, right back out to Singleton. Uh, good hustle. I like Hotkez. Get him a little opportunity here. I love when he dribble drives it. It's a foot in the lane. A little mismatch. Trying to get it to Riley. Got it Loves to him. That, oh, Got nice it. counter oh, off his leg. Kispert came over to help out. Yes, it's off the leg of Riley. I love the, I love the way the officials coordinate now. They look at one another, make sure they're positive. And this is a nice counter move, but not strong with it. Kispert alert. Timmy. Straight to the hole. Wow. Got Great. that angle, huh? Great defense, just better offense right there. Nice little slip that high screen and roll and attack the basket with that fake shot there by Timmy. They have a lot of quick hitters with Gonzaga. They sure do. Back to Juzang, doubled up. That was dangerous for a moment. What a great play by Timmy. Drops down to try to defend Riley, Pretty. Wow. who got free for the bucket to tie it. That drop step, he knows uh, Timmy's got two. Clever. Used his weight against him. Now 10 ties to go with 13 lead changes. Riley, eight and six. Timmy. He can make that. Three. Long rebound to Campbell. Hesitation. Couldn't convert there. Gonzaga, so dangerous in transition. Oh, nice move. They got a charge here, I think. It is. How clever was that? The Tiger, aptly named, right? Yes. <laughs> named for, uh, yeah, a golfer. <laughs> uh, how about this? Terrific. A little spin out and finish. Well, Jalen Suggs, we've been seeing him holding his hand. <laughs> Fell to the floor of that time. The physical nature of this game right here. He's grabbed his hand, Jim, a few times on a couple of plays. Not a good sign for the Zags. A shooting hand as well. But football hardened. <laughs> uh, he, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier, saw him get hurt early in the year. He just came right back. Yeah, Nemhart, they worked on his shoulder a little bit during that break, but you're talking about Suggs. Little football. Mr. Football and Mr. Basketball in the state of Minnesota his senior year. Tremendous quarterback. Does he miss football? He, we asked him, he says, I miss it every day. How about that? Nice entry. Riley's really been good, I think. He did himself. They got the mismatch. And it, nice oh, play. Yeah, yeah, he breaks. On the fast break, it sucks. Forget about that hurt hand. Did you see that finish? Avoiding the charge right there. Gorgeous. Oh. But all set up by a Yayi steal. Uh, the kid is wonderful. So much for the sore hand, by the way. <laughs> Not sore when you're on the break. This really uses the screens beautifully. Riley likes Shoot. that right shoulder. Singleton. That's his game. Woo. Catch and shoot. And a beautiful pass, though, by Riley. Yeah, he's played terrific. Really has. Puts UCLA up by one. Stepping back, Suggs. <laughs> nice tap by Timmy. And Ayaye so quick to the ball. What nice little things that Timmy does. Deflected pass the right direction. Right now, I think you got to go through Riley. He's made good decisions in that low box area. Great decisions. There's those pin downs, and they got uh, Suggs trying to blow up the screen. Second on Suggs. He must have taken a shot there. On his Mm. 
Campbell setting the Bruins. And Lombard's up on the sideline trying to walk it off a little bit. Timmy, mismatch here. Campbell driving in. Lost his footing and lost the ball to the Bruins. Clark. Tough. They really know how to angle, body search, control, and finish. And of course, unforced turnovers in, in transition. This is Gonzaga basketball right here. Ayayi now with 20. That's, High score in the game. I think it was Charles talking about their spurt ability using Clark's word. And right now, what a counter though. Yeah, well, had Pizza. to have it. Marquez. This hip. Pass. Pass. <laughs> and it counts. Clark on the foul. Uh, he just can embarrass you, can he? Some old time religion showing, <laughs> showing the muscles as well. Just a beautiful post entry pass right there. The bounce pass, Jalen Suggs. Patience. With the right hand, right? Oh, man. Uh, to the right. What a great angle pass. So, Timmy, who grew up a huge SMU fan. And he saw back in 2016 at Moody Coliseum, he saw Gonzaga come to town. Larry Brown was the coach of the Mustangs. And SMU beat Gonzaga, but it left an impression on Timmy. He said, you know, Dad, that's a program that I might want to play for one day. A visionary. <laughs> Get good shots at your pace. Yep. That's when he's tough when he gets in the lane. And Hart back out there and got picked as Campbell was free for the jumper. Going to stay here, I think. Lombard, I think. Once again, Riley involved in that play. His activity here, fantastic in the second half. Thursday, United States of Al has joined the powerhouse CBS comedy lineup. From Chuck Lorre, executive producer of The Big Bang Theory, Young Sheldon, and Mom, see why people are saying everyone could use a friend like Al. And they are giving it to Riley, Jim. Oh, they gave it to Riley. Yeah, they just oh. switched it. I thought it was on Nimbard. Well, they're having a discussion at half court. Can't call a double. Maybe Gene will have some insight, huh? Where is Gene? Well, they're going to come over to the monitor. We'll take a little break as they come over to review this one. 15 lead changes in this wild semifinal. Here was the moment ago. The two players tangled. Gene Steratore, tell us what happened here. Well, initially, Jim, it looks like Riley and Nemhard get hooked into each other. And then as you watch that play unfold, you can see Riley continue to hold and clamp down there. And then when Nemhard tries to, to elevate or get the rebound, that hook and hold that Riley is doing. That's where the officials are looking to see when does that rise from a basketball play to something that is excessive, unavo or is avoidable, and then potentially dangerous to that opponent. I believe they'll rise and, and elevate that to a flagrant one foul by the actions of Riley on the play. The common foul, the common foul on UCLA number two after replay has been upgraded to a flagrant one for a hook and hold. Number three player of Gonzaga will shoot two free throws, beat Gonzaga's ball underneath the basket. All right, you had it, Gene. And of course, for Nimard, he was being tugged with that left arm and that shoulder area that, that, that we were discussing that had him on the bench getting a little treatment. For sure, Jim, and I thought a pretty good job by, uh, by Groover of announcing that. He may have a future in the NFL yes. as a referee <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this kid is calm, cool. Terrific a couple of years in Florida. And of course, welcome aboard, Jim, too. That was a big decision for him coming and then being declared eligible early. Mm -hmm. He started every game his two years with the Gators, but also a big decision was just how would he how would he fit in with this team? And, and, and it weighed on Mark Few. He talked to some of his top players. He discussed it with with Joel and uh, and Corey and Jalen. Just to see, hey, you guys would be comfortable with bringing a premier player in here. I said, bring him on. And why not? Yep. <laughs> you do that. He's going to bring stuff like that. Well, this is what I love about him. He can run the point now. Well, you got Cook on the floor as well. Uh, when Suggs gets a little bit of a blow, this kid is 
extraordinary getting people involved. And it's a dangerous time right now for UCLA. They have to stay connected nice here. Nice cut here. And get a basket and get the ball to that man right yeah. there, Jose. And they had not run that play at all. A little brush on the high post shuffle cut. Dive to the 10. That quiets things after a six-point run. 17 now for Juzang on 7 out of 10 from the floor. Timmy right back with a bucket. He likes to come back to that left shoulder right there. He sets you up going middle. Gets back to that jump hook. He's really in trouble, I think, with the switching. Same play. And a little back speed to get Riley to the box. Another one. Not this time. Out and running. Missed Kis Kispert down the court. Yai floater. Tapped around by the Bruins. And you're right, he was wide open too. Yeah, he found he just... Tiger Campbell, as you said, Bill, going to break. He was born in 2000 or was a golfer, having a pretty good year that year. <laughs> Starting out on a thing called the Tiger Slam. And yes, he's named after the great Tiger Woods. Here is Campbell from the corner and Tiger. knocks it down. Tiger Woods can make putts. He's not going to make that shot, though. Uh, this kid is tough. Just changed the I to a Y, right? That's what the parents did. A little double. I haven't done that at all. Somebody's going to dive. It's dangerous. Boy, you had them barred in an open sure road. did. Down under five. Yeah, three to shoot. Nimhart. Tapped by the Bruins. And it's going the other way. Foul on Ayayi. Celebrate your favorite Final Four team with licensed fan gear from the official NCAA shop. I believe that's number three, if I'm not mistaken, yep. on Joel. And for the best selection of team apparel, head to NCAA.com slash shop. It is three on Ayagi. The only Bulldog right now in foul trouble. UCLA is still with Bernard on the bench with four. This UCLA team, they just hang around. Tough-minded, stubborn. They're not going away at all. Hey. Campbell. They got a foul on Timmy with the body. And that's what Tiger does. He just bites you once in a while. A dribble drive. He has a floater. He knows how to find people on the drive. This kid is a terrific point guard. A lot of toughness innately. And once again, seeking that contact right there. Not avoiding it. Drawing that foul. Beautiful move inside. And attacking the big. That's what you have to do as a guard. Attack the big. Get to the free throw line to earn those two. Talked about how resilient they are. Just to think in that first four matchup, UCLA against Michigan State. Michigan State had them 14 down in that game. Mm -hmm. And they come back and win it. Had to withstand a shot at the end of regulation. Aaron Henry. Aaron Henry, Henry had a good one. it. Bruins win it in overtime. And Tiger Campbell talked about that game gave them confidence, and they've yeah. been able to ride that confidence here to the Final Four. Said beating a great coach like Tom Izzo really got us going. Now Suggs. Suggs. He's staying on the floor with the three. Suggs has that mismatch if he wants to elevate on a jumper. Now the Watson. In the paint, oh, and the one. Yeah, went a oh, he far. traveled yeah. first. Extra step. Yeah, great position down low. Just drag that pivot foot a little bit. Yeah, the right call. Yep. Good call by you, Billy. Here we are at 66-63. And Timmy with those three takes a little blow. He can elevate now, too. Get that lane. Oh, that kid is tough. Whew, Raph, he, just, this. he just gets to his spots. You said that before. You're absolutely spots, right. Has great confidence when he gets there. Good shot. A good defense. Got a jump ball. Arrow belongs to Gonzaga. And he was a jump shooter a year ago, but now his ability to put the ball on the floor and create shots. Great defense right there, but not for Johnny Buckets. Nice cut. Gets the pass to oh, How about that? Game of the dunk. Uh, we've been talking ever since we've seen this team about their ability to cut and read situations. Gorgeous big time slam. 
There's your foul trouble. UCLA Bernard with four. Two Zags with three. So we approach eight minutes. Got to take advantage, I think, in the box. Marquez. That would have tied it. You know, Watson, not his experience. Think you got to use Riley at the other end. Watson leans in. And they get the foul on Singleton. Took advantage, but this is just gorgeous, isn't it, Grant? Oh, yes, I mean, indeed. The timing of the cut. One thing Mark Few said, everyone on this team can pass. Beautiful pass. But what a cut and finish. Showing off this hops right there. <laughs> First team All-American, Rory Kispert. And now at the line, Watson will get one more. Low 63 uh, free throw shooter. You know what's interesting? They just haven't had a game where it's been close late. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've had 27 straight victories in double digits. Only West Virginia the entire season played a game inside of 10. And right. that's incredible. And people may give a little run, but you're right about late. No, they weren't there. Yeah. Haven't, yeah. haven't faced it. Haven't lost since February a year ago to BYU at Provo. Ripped off 34 straight wins. But they are comfortable late in the shot clock. Campbell, jumper this for two. Kid, this kid just understands. Talk about sweet spots. <laughs> They're really not showing on him, not giving him that respect. Sophomore has 15. Up nice. ahead, Kispert couldn't get the handle. Got it back. Trying to spin on Haquez and draws the foul. And this game. It has been tight throughout. We got seven and change to go for a spot in the championship game. Being played at such a high level and look, 42 points in the paint for Gonzaga. They actually led the nation averaging 49 a game in the paint. This is what they do. And yeah, part of it is their ability to obviously shoot the ball, but their ability to cut sets it up. Get in position to dominate a good read. Everybody's so unselfish on the same page. Just solid and deep. Timmy back on the floor. Yep, with three. And now Kispert at the line to shoot a pair. Coach View was talking about his career, his admiration and respect for what Kispert's done in his four years. He said he came back this year, bet on himself. And he also said he's everything college basketball should be about. Just a tremendous compliment about this young man. Great talent for the Zags. Nice cross screen and now a little high low action. Nice isolation there. Wow, oh <laughs> man, he just understands huh? how to get rid of that shot, freeze the defender. I wonder if you put a taller defender on him, maybe an Ayayi or somebody, longer arms. Right, good point. Gets to his spot, yeah. he's automatic. He's 9 out of 13 from the floor. Here's Suggs driving in. And that's a charge. How tough is this Tiger? Wow. That's a nice read. They know the mismatch, Suggs. Creating a little bit of a post up and just throwing that chest in there. And that's number three. Yes, it was the right be, call. It's going to be three on one of them, and it went to Suggs, not to Clark or to Campbell. Campbell has sacrificed his body on those charges a few times tonight. Not afraid of it. Not afraid at all. Talk about leadership and extension from the bench. He possesses it. Again, college basketball has not had an undefeated champion in 45 years since Indiana 1976. Gonzaga comes to this Final Four undefeated, trying to make history. Tough shot. Now look at Riley in the right spot. Ooh, missed goodness. the second attempt. That finish. Would have put the Bruins up by one. By the way, Suggs is coming right back in at the scorer's table. Shot off the mark for Cook. Great check out, too. A lot of blue shirts protecting. Go, go, go. 
They just want to hang around till 10. Uh, surpass that easily. Yeah, they're way past that mark. They are undaunted. Oh, oh, they oh, lead oh, by oh, one. A little lingerie on the deck. Wow. Uh, Timeout Gonzaga. Ooh, a little post up. Five foot ten. A ticker. That's immense. Put the brakes on. The blow by. And how about that pump? A little kiss. La Lumiere's gift to UCLA. So the last two undefeated teams to come to the Final Four lost in the semifinals. Grant Hill and company ending UNLV's undefeated run in 91 in Indianapolis and then 2015 the next undefeated team to come to the Final Four lost also in this semifinal round also in Indianapolis with Wisconsin defeating the Wildcats and ending their season after a 38 and 0 start. Yep, again, the last undefeated team to make it to the championship game was Larry Bird in Indiana State in 79 mm. to be defeated by Michigan State and Magic and company. And then you go to 76 with Indiana able to finish it. Could there be something in the air here in Indianapolis? Mm. So, dribble exchange over double screen. Gonzaga had a seven-point lead. Bruins on a current 12-4 run to take the lead back. Wow. And that's a turnover off his knee. They were trying to establish Timmy, and they forgot about him. Uh, they're exchanging words right now. It was just an uncharacteristic turnover there yeah. by Nimbar. They had a couple early in the game. This is the first one lately. Suggs. This is what the Bruins have been doing throughout the tournament, managing to win close games. Campbell. Got Suggs on him. He's going to dump it off to Riley with six to shoot. Two on two. Riley right shoulder. Timmy. Nice little move with some power by the big fella. Back at the other end. And it goes for the lightning fast to Yayi. Yayi's been consistent all night, attacking the rim. The quick hitter. He really reads well, and Timmy does a nice job shielding. I'll tell you what, Riley has been impressive here offensively, particularly in the second half. Absolutely. That basket by Yayi gives him a career high 22. At the other end, he got a foul on the shot. Does that sucks? I mean, they did really a nice job. It's four on Timmy, this I kid. believe. Now look at Timmy just loading them up. And this kid ooh, maybe got away with that too with that arm. That last foul was on Timmy, his fourth. Tough decision now for Mark Few. I think you have to ride with him, keep him out there. 441 to go. He's not bringing anyone in for him. And then counter to UCLA has to go to Riley if they're going to leave him in there. Screen, get to the low box area. Gets the second for the two point margin. Conversely, Timmy has to touch the ball here on this offensive end. Kispert. How about and this? He puts the sacks ahead. A nice job. Got the roll to the rim. You bear that three-point shooter, Nembar, wisely. Extra bounce going right, sucks that D and delivers the pass. They had missed their first seven threes of the half, or their last seven threes of the game, first six of the half, before that one drops. Nice help there, Nembar, four sucks. Same thing, trying to stunt a little. Four to shoot, Juzan got two on him. Ball hits the floor, the shot clock expires on the Bruins. And that was Timmy right there. Absolutely. A hard show on that screen and roll with four fouls. Yeah, you got it. Led to that turnover right there. Great awareness defensively. And we have these teams battling, giving it their all. Something could be in the air here tonight in Indianapolis. We'll have to find out. Well, there's this subplot here. You got foul trouble. Most prominently, Drew Timmy with four, Gonzaga. Hey. Now Bernard comes back on the floor. Remember, 11 seconds into the second half, he picked up his fourth. He's been sitting ever since. And now you got three options on the perimeter. 
Uh, plus Campbell's ability to get in the lane, do his damage, or find somebody. Ooh! Almost turned it over right there, Suggs. Kispert. Bounces around into the hands of Riley. Great job by Riley. He has been solid. Timmy gets a little blow. I think because of the foul problem, he's going to back in. Yep, wasn't down for long. Over the top, and nice. it's Kisper who got a hand on it, forced the takeaway. Ayayi floats and rolls off the rim. Had a pull up, though. He would have charged otherwise. The Bruins team has won two games to get to this stage in overtime. Now look, Suggs playing Johnny. Nice hell. You can't leave can't him leave in hell. Him. Juice out! Oh, mental Woo. error right there by Jalen Suggs. Absolutely. Wow. Is this kid doing some serious damage? Just one little mental mistake against the talented performer. How about the relocation, too? Turn your head one way, go the other. Number three. Why not? Shake that head. Woo, impressive. Knockdown delivery. Jim Nance along with Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson, Gene Steratore. Grant Hill, congratulations. Named today the future director of USA Basketball. And that is a huge position and honor. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Jim. Well deserved. Appreciate it, guys. What a wonderful, wonderful opportunity and responsibility. I look forward to the challenge. We're well, talking about you, one of the great student athletes, too. And great for the business. Succeeding the great Jerry Colangelo. Here we go with 2.30 to go. Here's Suggs. Turn around. Tough shot. Ties it. This kid's a gamer. Both ends of the floor. He wants to guard. Now he's up and on. No, he's back on. Johnny. True tank. And now Mick Cronin wants a timeout as well. Boy, if you wasn't happy before, and he called a timeout, got a bucket out of the break. Suggs gets a chance right here to redeem himself. Not an easy shot, but he makes it look good. Two timeouts for the Bruins, one for Gonzaga. All square at 77. Big thing is Campbell now, keeping him out of the lane as they run their bumps. And a little curl series back screen to get Riley to the box with Timmy and foul problems. Ooh. Ooh. Campbell. Nice pass to Riley. What a play oh. by Suggs. Oh. My gosh. Fantastic. What a pass. At the other end, Timmy gives the Zags the lead. How about Suggs stepping up? Just magnificent. What a ticker this kid has. Rejected Riley's attempt for the lead, and then in a blur, the Zags were scoring at the other end. Well, what a run of. The last few trips for Suggs. This is where I think he's been tough. Jose. Baseliner to tie it again. How good is this that kid? kid is something else, right? Every time UCLA needs a bucket, he steps up and gets it done. Suggs. He's got Campbell so he can stop and get a shot. Oh, look. Ooh, Ooh that dangerous pass. Nembhard puts it up, back of the rim. Nice rebound, Timmy. Kispert puts it back. Kispert, excuse me. 81-79, Gonzaga inside a minute, a timeout, Bruins. Boy, talk about guys stepping up, huh? These young men are playing for it all. Wow, leaving it all out there. The stash. Regaling everybody. Goodness, a great individual play. Man, we have seen some sequences here in the last few minutes, including a block on Riley by Suggs. What a tremendous block right here. Riley had two points, Suggs making the extra effort, getting the block, not fouling. That is just a tremendous effort in oh. the ensuing play. To complement the block was just gorgeous. The kick, the finish at the other end. A full court bounce pass for the dunk. 
Oh, just tremendous play by Suggs. And a moment ago, Kispert with the put back gives Gonzaga the lead. Give me a little strategy here for the Bruins at 54 seconds. Uh, you know, you got to run that roll and get Johnny the ball, I think. A uh, little pin down for him. And the other option would be Riley as well, because he has passed the ball opposite extremely well as he goes to his right shoulder. And the Zags, you have to have Juzang awareness. You must know he is going to take the shot. Two guys must be on him. And of course, you got to be careful with Riley. He's done effective down there on that low block. Well, Suggs is going to have hey, Juzang. And the one thing, I don't think they should switch. They've got to keep Suggs on him because during the course of the game, if they have switched, he has been magnificent responding. To Hakez. Hakez loves the lane, the pivot foot. Leans in oh. and he is fouled. Who are they going to give it to? I think maybe Kisper. Yeah, Kisper. I didn't quite see the foul there, Raft. I thought it may have been a little bit of a fumble on the body. It was a nice play giving a lot of traffic. There's an isolation. Yeah, maybe he reached in, huh? Yeah. Okay, they said he was shooting, so he's going to get two. Rattles in the first. Bernard back. Now he's have an 85% free throw shooter on the line. This kid's a gamer. Grew up in Southern California, always a Bruins fan. Has a chance to tie it at 43 seconds. And does. UCLA has only five team fouls. Remember that if it comes into play here. I think they got to go through Timmy. Give him a touch at some point. Here's that roll. Out to Suggs. They got the mismatch inside. Suggs trying to drive him. Bernard and Riley rejects. How about that defensive presence? Hey, he says, you got me at the other end? Yeah. My turn. They oh, back to sweet. favor. Plenty of time left. 14. A dribble drive and a counter. 26 seconds. Having trouble getting it in. To Ayagi on his career night. Got the switch they want. Eight to shoot. Kispert way outside. Ball in the hands of the Bruins with 14 seconds. Probably a ball screen. Keeping it. Got to go. Zang, Ju Zhang's hands. They're going to go with it. Chance. It. There's the ball screen. Here's Ju Zhang in the paint. Oh, and it's charged cold. Oh, oh, oh. With less than a second to go. Wow. Timmy stepping up and stepping in, taking a charge. How about that kid? Wow. I think they put .7 back on there, if I'm not mistaken. But that is a great presence. And leading him to the big fella. Well, that's the biggest call of the yeah, year. You got, you got Timmy with four fouls stepping in. I'm going to check the timer. Wow. <laughs> the UCLA, you had the ball in the right guy's hands. Timmy with four stepping in there. Wow. Gene, yeah, this what? is such an important call in this game, and it goes against the Bruins. How did you see it? God, I love the charge call. It's a good charge call, Jim. What they're checking for now is the time. Because we had time remaining in the game. My rule, the clock will be put at 1.1 when the official recognized the uh, foul. Ron Groover does a great job of explaining it. Because there was time remaining in the game, you go to when the official starts to raise his hand to, to signal the foul as opposed to when the foul actually occurred. If we were at zeros, we would go to mm. when the contact occurred. But with time remaining in the game, we go to when the official begins his signal to call the foul, and that's where they got 1.1 seconds. And how about Timmy's presence to make sure he was out of the restraining area? It, exactly <laughs> right. settled in, you know? Yeah, great <laughs> basketball play. Oh. And that was the sixth foul on the Bruins. 1.1 seconds left in regulation. And, and now this is probably a length of the floor pass, unless they can get a turn to Nembar going the other way, and maybe a, the old hook and ladder. Uh, Nuba and then, comes where in. are you? We need you on the floor. <laughs> Nuba trying to guard the pass. Three-quarter court intercepted by the Bruins. 
And we are heading to overtime, the third overtime game for UCLA in this tournament. How appropriate the way these mm. kids have played. What a treat for us to watch this fantastic basketball. NCAA tournament overtime records. And how about three in one tournament? Maybe the call of the game, huh? The call of the tournament? Oh, no question. How about that play by Suggs? And look at this. This is the one we all love, oh, right, Grant? Oh, beautiful. Uh, beautiful the play. And then what a charge right there. Right <laughs> call. He knows. Oh, oh, oh. Woo. Wow. <laughs> Inhale and enjoy. Oh, goodness. So smart getting outside that restraining area as well. Our first national semifinal to go to overtime since Kentucky and Stanford went to OT down in 98 in San Antonio. Kentucky won it and went on to beat Utah for the championship. Nice play. Here's Timmy. And how about and this? he got a foul on Riley. And, and Raph, they ran that play earlier in the game. Slipped that screen. Quick decision. Great move to the basket. He does a great job. Sort of that phantom screen, you know? That's Run at the guy, slide by. So clever. It wasn't an easy shot either. No. Absorbing the contact, great touch and concentration. Third foul on Riley and a missed opportunity on the three-point play. Timmy now with 21 on the game, his tournament average. And Sugg still with Juzang. Bernard. Timmy's got to be careful trying to get Riley involved. Down to five. Bernard in trouble. Riley's got to put it up. Oh, that's, that's his third. That's this third jump shot. 15, 17 foot jumper. Oh, man. Making Timmy pay for that show. He's hit three out of four from the outside. Subs. Thought about it, comes back out. The mismatch inside. Oh, this is where it's good having two point guards like Nembard. He read that right away. Nice bounce pass entry. The big fella, moving large with that drop step finish. 10 out of 14 from the floor. Akez now. Two defenders on him. And plucked away by Kispert. Great defense there, but without fouling. By right, Timmy, you're right. Oh, man. They still got the mismatch they want. The mismatch inside. Yeah, with Bernard. Got to stay at home. They cut beautifully when he's got the ball. Quick Look at this on. kid. Look at yes, this kid. Wow. He's got the basket. Uh, he's taking put, over. Are you serious? Put the show on. Magnificent. I mean, you don't have to be a guy that can sky. You just have to be smart, have the maneuver, the flexibility, Grant, big time. Three baskets oh. in overtime. Oh, by Drew Timmy. Well, Drew Timmy in overtime has scored all six of the Zags points. Put him up 87-83. Cronin calls timeout. Try to get things back under control for UCLA. I wonder if we're going to take Timmy out for this defensive set. It'll be interesting, you know. Save him. He has been magnificent. And maybe the play of the game, if they end up winning, is picking up the jump. But look, at this is the two-point guard mentality. That's why they love this former Gator. Taking advantage, he read it right away. Of course, the four fouls as well by Jules Bernard, uh, but ineffective as an undersized defender. Nimbard so poised out there, just makes the right read all the time. <laughs> The way Timmy's been played here, get him the ball. Of course, he's sitting out. Good call, Raft. Yeah, going to save him on this defensive trip and bring in Watson. Juzang has to touch the ball in this possession. Juzang had 27 in regulation, had the ball in his hands in the closing seconds, and then got called for the charge. Watch out for Riley, too. If Juzang doesn't get it. He can do some a little back screen to get him to the block. That's what they're going for. Got it to Riley and Watson on his back. 67% free throw shooter. Timmy will come back in for Watson. Be a one-on-one -on -one for Riley. 
nice set right there by Cronin. You get the ball inside. Riley has been effective. Showing his jump shot though. That's what I bet that really tough. Shooting and, it with confidence. And, and Fury too with the counter there, the offense coming in. And that putting Timmy in a very difficult position. Riley, 12 points, nine rebounds, five assists. This is the front end of the one and one. And Rafa, I don't think UCLA can switch the ball screens now. Timmy has been able to take advantage of those mismatches. Riley needs to stay attached to Timmy. And they do it again, though. And Here's Sardi. What a move. Well, that was a Kispert. A lot of contact there on yeah. that move. Let him play with four to shoot. Oh, that's Ayayi. Great screening out with the blue shirts. Not a good set there. Bruins have struggled at this end of the floor in overtime. Ju Zhang has barely touched it. And Suggs is the reason, too. Overplaying. Marquez. Why not use Riley with Timmy on him in there? Dribble drive. Campbell. Out to Riley, another jumper, another one goes. How about this kid? Who gave you that scatter report? Oh, man. You need to run more plays for him. Oh, my goodness. Clear out for him, man. Two-point game, two minutes left in overtime. At the mismatch now with Timmy. They got it again. They're just riding that ball screw. Ooh, well, could have been an offensive foul. Bisper lost it going in. Out with it is Juzang. They have numbers. That's three on two. Campbell. Nice pass. Juzang in the paint. Missed it to tie. Look who's there. Timmy with the hustle to clean it up. Well, did you see right there that Nimbard, a little thing he did, contested that shot without fouling on Juzang. Timeout, Gonzaga. This kid is a runaway, huh? Get to that rim. Goodness. It is painful, but it's fun for us to watch. <laughs> 87, 85, Arrow belongs to the Bruins. Gonzaga with possession, a game with 19 lead changes and 14 ties. How about this guy? Goodness, he's playing so well, we may grow a mustache, but running the floor, finishing at the rim, uh, maybe the biggest play of the season, him picking up the charge, but taking advantage of the mismatch. They read things beautifully. We talk about their ability to dive. They just make big plays. And how about him running the floor and getting that big time rebound? Well, it's just so interesting to see when you go through a season, you march through a season, trying to march to history, and you have not had the chance to respond to pressure. And they did in this one, as, as you said, Timmy took that charge. Every run to a championship, you get tested. And they got two point guards, which really helps him in games like this. Oh, nice pump. They've been creating that mismatch consistently. Emhard, top of the key, got oh, the three. Oh, oh, oh. Big time dagger. That step Woo. back right there. Wow, some early onions. Suddenly at five with a minute left. UCLA can't wait now. They need to try to go quickly. Yeah, they got the switch here. A quick timeout. Well, Hemar, we saw him massaging his sternum early. Give that trainer a bonus. How about step back, Jack? Lose a little lingerie. Magnificent, whether it's the pass, and you talk about how cool he is under fire. No question. Impressive. How can UCLA, with 57 seconds, turn to fortunes again? Uh, Grant was saying quick hitters. I, I think Riley's got to get a touch on the box, see what they can do. He's good at finding, or the quick hitter, maybe the back screen pop uh, by Johnny. Give him the basketball. You know, he starts on the box, back screens Riley, pops out. They got to do something to loosen him up. No question. Juzang, he can go get a shot. Maybe a quick hit or two. You clear the, the floor for isolation for Jaquez, but you got to score here within 10 seconds and then set up your defense quickly against this Gonzaga team. And if it doesn't work quickly, then you got Campbell. He's got to attack. As he, obviously, he can finish, but at his size, probably find some people. Well, really, since that charge call in regulation on Juzang, he has not touched the mm. ball here. It's a good point. In the overtime period. But that sucks, too. 
And Suggs, Suggs has really locked uh, in. Denied over the top, not letting him get touches. Some strength, too, to defend with. His dad looking on, his high school coach, Hep. Well known for his coaching as well at Hall of Fame and back in Ohio. And of course, great baseball scout as well. And his kid had his team ready. Raf with Timmy back in the game. I like that quick hitter. They've gone inside to Riley. You just mentioned that. That might be something to look at here if you're UCLA. But how about Timmy with four fouls? What he's done. Oh. Here come the Bruins now. Let it go. 12 to shoot. There's that automatic switch, then Bart. Paquez. Oh, oh, big time! Oh, clutch! How tough are these kids? Wow. Down to two. I think they're going to ride the ball screen to get Timmy on the box again. Use some clock. Sucks. Stops. Goes back out with it with 30 seconds. Nemhart. Got Riley, a bigger man on him. Into the paint, back out. Kispert with the huge shot. No. Pulled down by Singleton. Got really, the look you wanted. Absolutely. Good job screening out again. Bruins with a shot to tie it or win it with 12 seconds. Juzang again with the ball in his hands. In the paint. Floater. Short. Got it back. Ties it with three. Gonzaga has time to do something. Sucks for the win. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable! Oh, the perfect season remains oh. on go. Are you? Oh my God! There is. Oh. There are onions, Jim, and then there are major onions with a kiss. Oh my goodness! One of the great games. We're gonna have to check in Final Four history. A classic game with a classic <laughs> finish. Oh. They're gonna check the clock down below us just to be sure. I think it was released on time. I agree. I thought we were going to double overtime. Oh, too. my God. Both of these clubs have left it all out there. And look at Timmy going over and a well-deserved as we look at this replay. A little kiss. That'll be remembered. Hey, Raph. Smoke <laughs> That's the biggest kiss of your career. Oh, my God. Wow. Ju Zhang with a great finish, thinking they're back, maybe in overtime. And look at the poise of this kid. We no. talked about his defense, but how about that? He sort of knew it. The well, highest ranked player in Zag's history recruit. And that's the reason. This, he came for this moment to play with Mark Few, the chance to win a championship. And wow, impressive. And, well, and I, Jim, I love in front of us all these kids actually caressing and applauding one another. And that is just some way to end the classic basketball game. Woo! From Minnesota. Wow. wow. To the big time. Grant, you were on the floor to get the pass to Leitner in a regional final back in 1992. And a way that ended in very similar fashion here with a shot, though, that won it in overtime into the game improbable and Gonzaga remains undefeated and is all set now to play Baylor on Monday night not only for a championship but for a big piece of history and everybody waited for this game that we're going to see on Monday night but UCLA left it all out they really did and you said it Monday night the two best teams throughout the regular season meeting in the finals couldn't draw it up any better, Jim. <laughs> well, how many times have we seen the Leitner shot through the years replayed over and over again? And folks, guess what? Get ready to watch this one for years and years to come. <laughs> That's so true. And, and I'm sure so, uh, Mark Fuse's glad he gave up football. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> hey, it was a Hail Mary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Where's Flutie when you need him? We got Suggs. 93-90 in overtime. Gonzaga with a stunning finish. Over to you, Tracy. Well, thanks a lot, and congratulations to the both of you. Jalen, I'll start with you, but after
after that make to tie it up, tell me what was going through your mind when you hoisted that final game winner. Hey, we, every day in shoot around before the games, you know, we shoot half quarters. I haven't been making my half quarters, but man, you know, I got it with confidence, put it up and man, man it's crazy. I don't know, I, I can't come to words right now. You did everything tonight, whether it was the defense, that big block, and then of course, that three to win it. But what can you say about the toughness of your total team effort when you guys faced adversity for really the first time all season long to come away with this win? Man, this is the greatest unit I've ever, I've ever been a part of. Uh, all these guys fight. All these guys have confidence in each other, man, and we're so together when we're here on the court. We have, we have immense amount of trust in each other, and when we get out here and play together, uh, man, we can achieve anything. Uh, so, I mean, this is a great one. You now we're going to start preparing for Baylor now. Jalen, don't go anywhere. Coach, how do you describe this one? Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable college basketball game. And, and uh, I mean, we had to dig as deep as we've ever had to uh, in quite a while. I mean, not just this year, but way back. Uh, man, is UCLA tough. And uh, just some incredible efforts on both ends and just a great college basketball game. And, heck, we, we, we made a lucky one at the end, but I'm just telling you, he makes those ones all the time in practice when we, when we practice late game situations. He's just got this magical aura about him. And I, I, I knew when he shot it, it was going in. I, 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 I'm telling you, that's, I knew it was going in. Jalen, how does it sound that you're going to be playing for a national championship and a complete undefeated season on Monday. Uh, amazing, amazing. I mean, we, we've worked hard, you know, through the, through the struggle of a season, uh, but we stayed together, you know, and we've stayed a unit. You know, we always call ourselves a brotherhood, you know, and, that, and that's very true. So, man, they, they, this was great, uh, extremely special. I, I can't put this one into words, you know, turning dreams into reality. Uh, but, man, we're getting ready for Baylor. They're a tough team now. Uh, but, I mean, all the credit goes out to UCLA. I know Johnny Juzay, you know, a really good friend of mine, great player. Uh, you know, that, that's a tough squad. Well, congratulations, and Coach, I know you want that gonzaga Baylor matchup. You're going to get it. Good luck. We'll yeah. see you on Monday. You got it. Thank you. How about that? He knew he was going to make it. How about that? Wow. <laughs> oh, dribbling up the floor, watching the clock all the way, by the way. Right, Grant? He had great awareness, knew exactly what was on the clock released it at the perfect time and when he left his hand you could tell he knew it was going in time to celebrate and as Jim said he'll live with that shot for many many years to come and how about his defense too, on Johnny Juzang I mean that was a game saver for the Zags the way he picked up the gauntlet took the challenge and defended beautifully everyone has said that Gonzaga has not been tested on the road to the Final Four and to the championship <laughs> game. Well, hey, they were tested and they answered the test and delivered. And Mark Few <laughs> relieved to play another game. He went few. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. You know, one of the things I was thinking at the end of this was Indianapolis 2010 and watching Gordon Hayward very nearly make the half court heave yeah, to knock out Duke in the championship game. This was the semifinals. This was just inside the midcourt stripe. But one of the most dramatic finishes in the history of college basketball occurred tonight in Indianapolis. And Gonzaga will be in the championship, taking on Baylor Monday night.